13 drawings today. Two of them in ink, the rest in pencil. All of them women. Now what does that tell you? Well, it tells me that an artist has got to stay well fucked. Otherwise, his mind drifts off the easel, out the window, across the street, and to the grocer's daughter. Drew a proposal in a toast. Oh, uh, yes. To Picasso. Hey, to him. <laughs> I mean, did you guys talk about anything else besides me? It was mostly about you. God, I feel good. I'm lucky for you. To be talking about someone and then in they come. Well, how do I look? Be honest. Ah, that spot! We have got to do something about that! <laughs> Why don't you come by my place tomorrow? I'm working on something. This is different already. The moment is afoot, I can feel it. How do you draw something? It seems so impossible. It's all in the wrist. And the wrist starts here. The last month's work has been spectacular. I sat in front of the last piece I got with you for, with some friends and explained it for two hours. Did they get it? I don't know, they left after the first hour. But I can tell you that the last hour was lonely hard work. Forget it! That was piss! Piss, I tell you! No, oh, this is different already. There is nothing in my way anymore. If I can think it, I can draw it. It used to be that I would have an idea and then a month later I would draw it. The idea was a month ahead of its execution. <laughs> now, the idea is ahead of the pencil only by minutes. One day, they will be simultaneous. Do you know what that's like? If I can think it, I can draw it. That feeling of clear, undiluted vision. Why, I have a vague idea. <laughs> Are you an artist? No, I'm a scientist, but sometimes I feel like an artist. We we'll multiply that by a thousand! And then you know what it's like to be me. <laughs> I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Well, you have. My name is Picasso. Oh, nice for you. 